so guys um, we are actually discussing uh, flow designer topic so now let me just go to the flow designer so i am actually at my hometown guys you may see some uh, network issues so can you bear with me so here we have actually created a flow designer we have created flow designer and at the same time parallelly i will actually open the workflow as well i will actually open the workflow as well okay so here if i open the workflow here if i open the flow designer here okay here we have activities here here we have activities okay these activities are nothing but actions in the flow designer ask for approval if do on do the following parallel create catalog task okay these all are actually activities in the workflow in the flow designer we call it as actions do you understand guys yes sir okay so here in in the flow designer we can also create our custom action as well we can create our custom action as well so i am going to create a new custom action here so i think i have already created one custom action previously i believe did i create did i create any custom action yes we did i think uh, which which action we have created i think addition of two values something like that right okay so i am going to create a custom action called multiply multiply two values so flow is different actions are different guys i am actually creating an action i am submitting this one in this action you have to first define inputs you have to define inputs here so i am actually creating an input here a input a so here this is actually a string i am actually taking i am making this as mandatory input creating another input called b this one also string i am taking i am making this as mandatory so i am taking two two inputs okay then here i am actually clicking on add new step here here when you click on add new step right you can see a lot of things are available so here you can also you can also take a script a script tab as well okay so here you have taken the script tab you can declare the input variables so here i am actually giving a here so here you declare the inputs right those inputs you will actually take it here a declaring another variable called b okay so here in the script part what i do is i will actually multiply it. these input values these input values i will actually get it these input values i will actually get it using inputs object okay you can set the output values using output object and you you have to declare output variables as well here below here you have to declare output variables so here what i am doing is where c is equal to where c is equal to parsint parsint of inputs 
dot a plus multiply rate star parse int of b okay input output start. sorry input start b yes yes sorry for what okay so outputs dot outputs dot c is equal to okay parse into of c okay then what i am doing here is i i am declaring a variable called c here that c is actually this one outputs dot c that c i declared here and if you go to the outputs here you have to create an output called c and edit exit edit mode you have to get that c from the outputs from here you can actually get the c output here i am going to save this one publish this one in any flow in any flow designer if you want to calculate if you want to multiply two values you will actually use this action so in the request laptop uh, somewhere you have to multiply two values to multiply two values what you will do you will use this action you will actually call this action i want to add this uh multiply two values action here i think we have to refresh this one okay somewhere here i am actually taking the action multiply two values yes so here you will select here so what you will do you will actually pass a value as 6 here b value as 6 here 6 6 here 36 right so it will actually give the output as 36 so here what we can do is we can directly test it here we can directly test it here click on test here a value i am actually giving as 6 here b value i am actually giving as 6 here if i run the test now it should give me the output as 36 see the answer is given as 36 right so likewise you can actually create custom actions as well you can create custom actions as well in the flow designer so always remember guys in the actions in the actions you have inputs and outputs inputs are nothing but whatever we are giving outputs are nothing but whatever we are actually getting is this clear what is what is action actions yes. are yeah we are sending the inputs but uh, how we will get the output from that action yeah let me just show you that now in the actions part i i could understand but in the flow okay in the flow you are asking yeah so here we are actually at the 16 the action right 16 if you go to the data pelis you you open the 16 action here 16 remember this point here 16 action if you open this one 16 here you have c available here right c is nothing but out, output okay understand yeah yeah okay so that is how you will actually get you will actually use the actions in the flow designer 
actions are nothing but building blocks of flow designer actions are nothing but building blocks of flow designer 